hello everyone welcome back in the previous video we learned that how we can uh, downgrade from a php 8 to php 7 and now we are going to uh, upgrade our 7.2.25 to 7.3 so how we can upgrade our uh, our php version from lower to higher so it's uh, basically same and if you are not familiar with this one you can watch my previous video and i'm also here i'm going to walk through all of the process so let's get started so here in the Apache, I need to download the, sorry, I need to download the exact version. So I'm going to install this for, let me go back. I'm going to install this for PHP 7.3. So before this, I have running this PHP 7.2.5. Let me open the CMD and type you need to type php hyphen hyphen version and it will tell you that what's the version you are using oops okay click here php and then type version and uh, hit enter okay so now it's telling us that we are using php 7.25 so we want to downgrade it from 7.25 to 7.3 so how we can do this so here you need to select uh, your file and download this file so basically these uh, uh, these files does not contain the full zamp that's why i'm uh, telling you that how you can downgrade in a shorter way so this is shorter because you need to just uh, download this file and copy the apache and php file and add this into your project so here i'm going to find the php 7.3 right and then i'm going to download this into my uh, direct into my uh, PC and then I'm going to uh, add this into my project so here you can click on this and download it instantly right so I'm going to click on this and it will be added into my download list so I'm going to cancel this out because I have already downloaded these files so I'm going to show you in my local PC so let me cancel this out first and then I'm going to tell you that where it is located okay 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 wait for a moment okay let me open the download directory here so here i have already downloaded this 7.3.2 version right so let's uh, open this into the into this uh, uh, this uh, winrar file i'm not going to extract this file because it's uh, take little bit time so here you need to copy the apache and uh, apache and php directory right so if in your case it's not it this file is not downloaded you can get refresh it's going to download it again right so sometimes it's not going to download it uh, with a simple uh, so let's click on this so now it's going to download this file right so here and yes it's uh, telling that your download will be uh, start shortly okay so you can download it from there right so now i'm going to uh, go to my apache directory right this one so i'm going to delete this apache and you can also change the name of php apache backup 7 right and you can also change this php backup uh, 7 right so i'm going to delete this file i don't want to uh, use this uh, php 7.2 i want to use this php 7.3 so now let's go to this uh, XAMPP directory. I have opened this 7.3. So here I'm going to copy this XAMPP. I'm going to copy this Apache and then this PHP file. So let's click on this copy and it will uh, copy these uh, two directories into the clipboard and then we are going to paste this into our XAMPP directory. So it's pretty simple. You need to just download this file and copy the Apache and PHP directory and paste this into your XAMPP directory. And if you don't want to lose your uh, previous version, so you need you can we need to change the existing Apache and PHP name, and do, and you can uh, uh, revert it to back whatever time you it required it again, right? So here uh, let's click. Oh, I need to turn off this. Okay, okay, okay. Let me turn off this quite, and then it's going to remove these files. okay okay now it's removed and it's going to removing this apache directory and yes it's removed the apache 2 right so let me go here why it's taking too much time to copy the copy these two directory 
and yes it's almost copied and here I'm going to paste this file let's click on this paste and yes these are instantly added into our XAMPP directory right and yes this one is PHP and this one is Apache so now I'm going to click on this XAMPP so it's going to execute the 7.3 version right and it's uh, automatically started by the way if you are not familiar with this one how to auto start these apache and mysql services so you can watch my previous video this is full series where i'm uh, teaching it from by downloading the xamp and then uh, how to install this xamp and open the php my admin and stuff like that so here i'm going to type this cmd and let's type this uh, here uh, php iphone iphone version and hit enter and yes now it's telling us that it's 7.2.3 so it means that we successfully uh, upgrade our version from 7.25 to uh, 7.3 so you can do this whatever uh, version you are uh, whatever version you require so let me uh, turn off these services i'm going to remove these uh, that means i'm not going to remove this i'm going to rename this uh, like uh, backup of 7 uh, 7.3 and uh, then I'm going to make the backup of this PHP here. It's same, so I'm going to down uh, upgrade into it into the PHP 8 version backup uh, for 7.3. And then I'm going to uh, remove these uh, Apache backup 8 because I want to open this, uh, run it as PHP 8. Remove this one like this. And then let's go to this uh, PHP backup 8 here. So in the previous video I made them like this. So let's make this PHP and then let's run this uh, XAMPP. So it's going to open the PHP 8 for us. So let's go here. And yes, these services are going to start. And here I'm going to type this. So uh, in the previous video we checked this uh, uh, 7.3 and here I'm going to type uh, PHP version, hit enter. And yes, now it's telling us that it's so uh, PHP 8.1.6. So we successfully uh, upgraded our version from lower to higher. So it's very simple. So hope you get an idea that how you can do this. And if you have any queries, so you can ask this into, into the comment box. And if you like this video, please subscribe the YouTube channel and stay connected for more upcoming videos. I will meet you in the next one. Bye bye.